Paramount is in exclusive merger talks with production company Skydance. This is according to the latest reports here from the journal. Now, the entertainment giant is also pausing any conversations with other bidders for 30 days while it does work out a potential deal with Skydance. And this coming after private equity firm Apollo Global Management offered to buy the entire company for $26 billion on a Sunday. Let's talk about how likely it's going to be that Skydance will be one of those or be the one out of all these bidders to acquire Paramount. Doug, my question to you, if this is the case, do you think this is a good move for Paramount? How are you looking at this from an analyst perspective? And just regarding the interest that we've seen in Paramount, what does that then tell us more broadly about the media landscape right now? $26 billion, and I mean, again, this has been reported, but, you know, there's a lot of times there's devil in the details that, that you don't know what they are. But $26 billion for Paramount would be a, a very significant premium to the current stock price. Uh, once you take out the debt, the net debt sitting on their balance sheet, uh, it, you know, it, it values the stock in something in, in the 20s and stocks at 13 bucks or whatever it's trading at right now. Like, that's a big premium. That's hard for a board to turn down. Now, maybe Skydance is potentially offering more. It's complicated by the fact that, right, there's there's the Paramount stock. There's also NAI, which has a controlling voting interest in Paramount, which could be bought for significantly less. Um, a purchase of NAI would allow somebody to control Paramount, uh, wouldn't necessarily help current Paramount shareholders. So, you know, it, it depends on exactly what the discussions are that are going on. Uh, whether they involve just NAI or the or or the Paramount shares, um, as far as what it means, look, uh, there have always been people with lots of money who want to be part of Hollywood, uh, and sometimes they can be a bit price insensitive because owning a Hollywood asset is very glamorous. Um, and you you may be seeing that at work again here. I'm not sure. I think it's hard to make a business case right now for why Paramount should be worth $26 billion. Uh, not, not impossible, obviously, but it requires you to make some pretty aggressive assumptions about uh, improved earnings in the future. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how this plays out. You know, there's been a lot of chatter about Paramount for a while now. And, you know, things keep not happening. And until something actually happens, I think that's probably the default expectation is that somehow these talks will break down and nothing will happen. Uh, but if something does happen, you know, it wouldn't necessarily surprise me. Doug, thanks so much for taking the time here today. We got to leave things there. Doug Kreutz, who is the TD Cowan Managing Director and Senior Research Analyst covering the media and entertainment landscape and our very own Ali Canal joining us this morning. Thank, Thank you. you. Certainly.